welcome to Randomator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we just saw Spiral, which, surprisingly enough, is not a horror movie about perms. It is part of, uh, it's from The Book of Saw, was in the original title. So, I don't actually remember them ever really referencing how far this is from the last Saw movie. They do bring up a lot of, you know, the characters and... Jigsaw all the, the and, traps and everything. And the puppet. They yeah. mention the, pu the They mention too. a lot of things they recall to the OG movies. But they don't really give a timeline. It really doesn't matter. But out of nowhere, there start to be killings, which they're trying to figure out if it's part of, like, the, the legacy of Jigsaw or if it's a copycat killer. They are directed completely at the police station and the police officers that work there so we know that it's someone that has personal connections with all of them and you just kind of go through the movie trying to figure out who is the new jigsaw is there a new jigsaw what is happening Why it's really nice saw? to see chris rock again and samuel l jackson like that's always a delight <laughs> so I mean, I don't really want to give too much away in the it's, synopsis because I don't want to give anything actually away. It's hard to talk about this yeah. movie and not and not actually ru ruin it and not stay like spoiler free without you know it's it's just it's yeah it's 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 another Saw movie, but it's it's good. It's it's more than just another Saw movie. No, I'm saying like, like it's another Saw movie, but it's it's good. I feel like. This Saw movie is enough away from the original while still calling back to the original. Yeah. But it's kind of its own idea. Yeah. So I, I really, I really, that's, I really like that about it. And I it really definitely did. didn't have that feel of it's a Saw movie. It was just, the way it was shot, completely different. The dialogue just felt so much different. The character development felt so much different. There were those familiar hints in it, definitely, but it wasn't like, you know, what? Do you know what it was shot like? What? Like an episode of Law and Order. I felt like, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for the dun-dun. Do-do-do-do-do. Wow-wow. Do-do-do-do. I was waiting for like, Mulder to show up. Mulder? <laughs> Mulder. Mulder. Mulder? Mulder. I was waiting for Stabler. Well, I mean, to go SVU. That's original. the only Law and Order for me is SVU. <laughs> All I want is SVU. Mark, uh, Marista Hagerstein shows up. Mariska Hargitay? Whatever the hell. Are you having a stroke? I am. <laughs> Smell <laughs> toast. Anyways, what did you like about this movie? I... The thing I like the most about this... Oh, there's a sneezing cat. Bless you. You good? Uh, the thing I like the most about this is... This by no means was an original idea. No. It's it's Saw. But this is the best Saw movie since the original. I genuinely didn't know what was going to happen through most of this movie. I've seen every Saw movie. And I can usually 15 minutes into the movie guess what's going to happen. From 2 on. This one I could not do that. Now there were some things that made it look to the keen eye made it look obvious and you could pick up on it but it was a it was refreshing to see a an original story with familiar undertones to it is what i i would call i would call it i'd like it because it wasn't a remake it wasn't like a it wasn't a it wasn't another saw sequel it wasn't a remake of the original it, it was, was a, like saw adjacent Yes, yes, it's alternate universe saw. Um, so and so, I really, I really enjoyed it. That's probably what I enjoyed the most about it is that I knew what they were talking about because I'd seen the saw movies. But also, this could have been a they could have taken all the saw references out of it, and it still would have been a good movie. I agree with that. What did you like about it? I obviously like the gore. Like this is a like the the. <laughs> The dispatching in this movie is brutal, wow. and I really enjoyed it. It was visceral. Yeah, it was extremely visceral. It was like, I feel like in the other Saw films, 
when they would show the person like trying to get out of the trap it was that weird sped up shot that I really hate because it's hard for me to track what's going on I have vision problems so I would have to watch it I know surprise I would have to what what I'd have to watch it a few times to actually pick up on what was going on the entire scene rather than just getting the little snippets of it and I feel like they did that a teeny bit in this but there were such long lingering shots on the actual like that the the guts of it that I could Literally. fully appreciate it and it made me cringe and I love to cringe with this type of thing so that was that was really cool I liked the uh, traps themselves it just it had that that edge to it like even if you did beat the trap like did you do you really win though like are you actually gonna get out of it you know and that's what I liked it was dip it was different yeah in 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 all the jig jigsaw movies there was always an out there was always a way out whether it was a way out of the trap whether it was you know the cop just had to sit there and talk to him the whole time then the kid popped out of the mini, mini fridge you know there were there was always like a there was always a good ending or like not, with these traps there was no good ending. it was like there was like you don't get out or like just like one notch above that, it wasn't like you're gonna get out on. <laughs> like you're gonna be, like you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be mentally damaged. But then that's it. Like no, 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 you're walking out of here messed up. Yeah, yeah. Or you're like not even really gonna be walking. I'll tell you something else I liked was the double meaning behind, like the clues. It was the kind of riddly. Yeah, yeah, the riddles, the riddles that had to do with. The, the riddles and the clues, but also the traps did certain things for certain reasons. And they explained it. Like, when the TV popped on, it was like, it was like, because of this, you know, you are, you, you can get away, but this is gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose this because of this reason. Like, every, it felt like it was like, you know, this stuff was very well thought out. The riddles were awesome. I like, I liked them. And the characters in it didn't like get it right away yeah you know so there was some you know there was a lot of it this was a very suspenseful movie mm -hmm. there's a lot of times you're like how many times was i just like i'm stressed <laughs> there are jump scares in this that are good jump scares they will get you they got you i was literally in the middle of making fun of her for getting for getting caught by a jump scare and it got and then one <laughs> got me so it was it was refreshing. Like yeah. it was it was nice to see a new movie that came out that isn't necessarily a new idea, but a great spin on an old cl classic that ma it made me very happy. What did you not like about this movie? I don't like Chris Rock's face. <laughs> That's rude. That plastic surgery is weird. You you said it the whole time. You're like, what is up with his face? And now and then I couldn't whoa, unsee whoa, it. Whoa. And then I couldn't. I thought it was it. me. Nope. Okay. You know, I was like, I was. Just, it was just he kept having. It was funny because he's had plastic surgery on his face, so I feel like it's hard for him to show emotions on his face because it's all pumped full of pl plastic or however they do that stuff. So it's harder for him to show emotions, and he was trying to show emotions on his face through his plastic surgery, and it just looked like he had to poop a lot. He was just like. Sometimes you just gotta go. But it was just like, like his, I, he played the character very well. I just didn't like some of his mannerisms. I think it had everything to do with the fact that he had plastic surgery on his face and he just couldn't emote properly. What did you not like? I felt like some of the acting was a little wooden, uh, particularly the whole sequence with. Like, one of the detectives and one of the detectives widows that's left. Just the way, she, like, I, I get she's in shock, but I just felt like the way she was delivering the lines was a little strange. Like, it seemed really awkward. It wasn't believable that her husband had just died. Yeah, it was just like, I, I don't know. Th that threw me off. The iPad line was weird. Yeah. When they were on the back porch, they... I gotta look through his iPod. Okay. Why is that in there? 
Why is that line? That line is not necessary. Maybe they got she, like a, she's just gonna say okay. A check from Apple yeah. for saying I iPad. Yeah, Apple's like here you go. Yeah, we're not. Um, and also like coming from someone that gets Botox that can't move their eyebrows, rude. <laughs> rude. I stand by what I said. <laughs> I um, said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. All right, so... What would you rate this movie? I was about to say, so ratings-wise, I would give this... Are we doing five or ten? We We're always do five. five. I forgot. It's been a long day. I had a long day at work today. Um, I would give this a... I would give this a four out of five. Uh, the effects were great. The effects were amazing. I mo most of them seemed like they were practical with a few special effects in there, like the opening one. The opening one was like it set the table. <laughs> it's it set at the table. It was like, hey, guess what? There's a bunch of buckets of blood and a bunch of guts everywhere. Welcome to the show. Um, I thought there were going to be, and and the reason why I'm giving it such a high thing is because I. I expected when I came into this, I expected cutaways. I expected yeah. I expected we were we were gonna get to a certain point, and then we were gonna get the cutaway with the blood splatter. Nope. And I hate that. That's such a pet peeve for me. And it's you know it was very nice that it was like no 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 like the camera like there was a bunch of times I was like oh, oh like the. Oh. Um, so yeah, so that was a good thing. And, and honestly, the only, the only thing stopping me from making us a five was honestly, was the acting, the acting, like, like you said, a lot of the, like Samuel L. Jackson was good. He didn't say motherfucker enough. I know. Which um, was a bummer. Chris Rock's acting was good. His facial expressions were terrible. Can't help um, that. the other main character, Shank, he was great. He was a phenomenal, he's a phenom phenom phenomenal actor. The captain was good. The other detectives were good, except for like the weird scene with the with the with the widow. But it's like there was like it was enough of the movie had these like weird, emotionless wooden scenes that that I can't I couldn't give this a four and a half or a five. Well, there were but everything else in the yeah. movie was great. There were the, all those scenes, and then there was that one particular scene that I kept talking about in the car with the the one guy in the trap and his reactions are just so believable that like he's not a good person but you kind of like felt bad for empathize him. because <sighs> just his reaction just it hurts your heart to see that he, he was good in it i i yeah I it, thought it he was did a great i mean job. I, and that and that's the thing which just some of the scenes were like like you said like very wooden um but the like i really liked the story I really enjoyed the story. I thought the gore. I, th I thought uh, I thought the gore was good. It was just some of the acting I just didn't like. So I, I I would give it like a four, almost a four, almost a four and a half. Um, you know, the only only thing I didn't like it was some of the acting, not all of the acting, just some, just some, just some of it. What about you? I'd probably give it like a three point five out of five. I had a really good time watching it. It had me tense. Um, like I said, the gore was great. The traps, great. Perfect. Um, the story itself, I was, like, actually really into the story. I thought they did a great job. I picked up, like, I, I figured out who did it at a yeah, particular we... scene because it didn't follow the formula that I was used to, and it stuck out to me just because, like, I, I do really enjoy the Saw movies, Obviously, they get less and less, like, they're, they're more predictable as you go on throughout the series, but I thought they did a really great job. I know this is a Chris Rock John, and I thought he did great, you know, I, he, what, he wrote it? I think it was, the, I directed think the, it? Yeah, I think he directed or produced it. He, I thought he did a great job. Like, this is the first film that I can recall that Chris Rock did. Is there a cat This back is a little there? Dobby in the corner. What are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Um, I thought he did a great job. Mm -hmm. I I would love to see more horror movies. I didn't know he was a fan of the genre, to be I, honest. He apparently is a bit is a big fan. That's awesome. So I'd I'd love to see more of his work. 
hopefully it's as brutal as this one. We got to see this. This was what I picked to watch on my birthday, so that made me very happy that it did not suck. So, yay for me. Yay. Little cat back there. Now you can't see him because his butt's black. But, anyways... Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? I'm pretty proud of us for seeing like a new movie it, and it came reviewing out, it. It came out a week before we saw it. That might be the record. I'm proud of us. I'm, pr I'm, I'm proud, proud of, us. of us too. Look at us branching yeah. out. <laughs> Woo. Um, leave us thoughts down below in the comments. Leave a comment. Uh, what's your favorite Saw movie? What's your favorite Saw trap in general? I'd love to know. Um, the angel wings. Do you ever watch the parodies of, like, the the little puppet in the office setting who's just like, I'd like to play a game, and the person's, like, on the phone with a customer? <laughs> I want to do that in my office. I would get fired so fast. Show up on a tricycle. <laughs> I'll just go around my doctor office job on a tricycle. HR would love that. I kept making Saw references to you after this Yeah, movie. you made a Saw reference that you were going to eat my snack wrap when I ran into Rite Aid to get sunblock. <laughs> which is very funny. So would you like to play a game? Will your snack wrap be here when you get back? It was. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> I won. Or did I? Oh. Um... <laughs> If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with a groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. We're going to find you. You can find me on Twitch, where we are an affiliated streamer, now part of a new stream team. We broke 600 followers last night, which was awesome. I thank everybody for their continued support. So you can find me under tw on Twitch under Repeat Ray, Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. Links are below for all of our social medias. Links are below in the description. Um, yeah, so... I can't believe we watched a new movie and we actually liked it. I'm so proud of us. Look at us trying new things. Look at that. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Damn cats.